and he'll be down right after. What I'm going to do is, um, Ryan saw this particular concept that you guys are about to see right now, and he was blown away, him and his wife. And that's why he, uh, you know, invited a select few individuals to see uh, what's actually about to happen and they're going to embrace. Let me say this for starters. There's nothing to sell, none of you guys. There's nothing to buy. There's nothing you can get involved in, uh, anything like that, because, yeah, you can open it for anyone that's out there. Um, the actual um, company will not be launching until March of this year, but we actually have access to some of the first prototypes to make it to this side of the world. And a lot of people in the United States uh, didn't know or don't even know that this particular, uh, we're going to call it, technology exists. There's about to be a demonstration of it right in front of your eyes that you guys are going to get the chance to experience, but I just want to tell you briefly, before I dive into it, how we got here. A good friend of mine sitting in the back back there, Mr. Damon Coleman, he gave me a call, and uh, my wife and I, we had been sitting on the sideline in the direct sales industry since January. Uh, you know, we were just seeing what was out there. We had been flown around uh, to almost every company under the sun you can name. Just didn't see nothing that remotely, remotely interested us, guys. Nothing. So we were just, uh, you know, still waiting to see what was out there because one of the things that I, I was looking for was I didn't want anything that was strictly recruiting. Uh, they didn't have a customer base to it, and if it wasn't something that people would naturally use and naturally set, share, even if they didn't get, get paid for it. And I know that may sound hard, but that's what we were looking for. So my, my brother gave me a call, and, and uh, my wife and I had started a traditional business where we had the exclusive right to an all-natural uh, product that helps men have a healthy prostate. Two urology surgeons formulated we were actually just uh, distributing that product. We're still in negotiations with Ghana and uh, 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 Nigeria right now. Still, that's a business we still have. Mr. Coleman called me. He said, hey, man, listen. He says, I'm hearing about the product you got. I'm hearing rare reviews. He was calling to say, put me on auto ship for your product. I want it. That's a good call. Not anybody that understands the industry. Somebody calling you saying, put me on auto ship. <laughs> and uh, purchase the product and everything on auto ship. But then here's what he said. He said, man, listen. You know, we got a project we're working on. I saw something uh, overseas um, that's, that we're going to be bringing to America. He says, here's what I want you to do. He says, if you can come, we would like to merge your product with what we're going to do. He, he said, I think it's a perfect marriage. I'm like, okay, great. You know, I was obviously open to that. So he, we went down to Tampa, Florida together. I went and uh, sat with these guys, and I did my part, uh, shared with the CEO, shared with Mr. Coleman, some other individuals that was in the room. Everything was cool. I was done. Here's what I liked about it. They didn't ask me to stay. They didn't try to recruit me. They didn't put the press on. You know, let me show you what we're about to do. None of that. It was all organic. So they were about to start the actual demonstration that I'm about to do for you guys. And my spirit says, stay. Don't leave. Don't walk away. Because I was free to go. And when I sat there, and after I saw what I saw for the first two minutes, I said, I'm in. And Mr. Coleman said, oh, no, you, you're okay. We're going to get your product. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about my product. I'm talking about what I just saw. I saw what I was actually looking for. Now, here's what I'm about to do. A lot of the ladies in the room, you're probably, you, you're probably going to laugh, ladies, on what I'm about to show you. Some of the men, some of the men in the room, you guys probably don't even know what this is. You ready? <laughs> we know the ladies know what this is. Any man in here doesn't know what this is? Any man? Well, I have a wife and three kids, so I know that I buy them a lot. So, right here. But guys, this is a sanitary napkin, and I'm going to be honest with you. When this guy, he pulled this out, right? When he pulled this out, I said to myself, well, my spirit didn't leave me to see in this meeting. <laughs> Ricky, I'm saying something wrong. You know, I don't know what I was hearing from, but it wasn't what I thought it would be. But here's what he did, guys. I'm about to show you this. What blew me away. I didn't even know how to tear it off. My wife and kids say, listen, you have to pull the entire, you know, back of it off together. But here's what I want you all to see. This is a 10-hour pad, okay? And I'm showing you this for a reason, and I'm showing you this for a purpose. Because, you know, this is supposed to have a serious system of absorbency in terms of what's on the shelf. So what he did was, he took the pad, guys, he laid it out in front of us all on the table, right? And then what he showed us was, 
For you guys that don't know, when a woman is having her feminine flow, my wife told me the word to say, call it a feminine flow. When a woman is having her feminine flow uh, on a monthly basis, what happens is the average woman, guys, she gives off 15 to 50 milliliters. 15 to 50 milliliters on average. Some obviously more, some may be less. But 15 to 50 milliliters, according to gynecologists, is the average. And what he did was, he poured it in the pad. And I'm going to simulate these 15 to 50 milliliters going into the pad. And I'm sitting there saying, okay, this is really getting weird. Where are we going with this? That's what I was thinking. But then what he did was, he went into his actual bag, and he says, but this is what we're about to introduce to this side of the world. And he tore it, and he took it out, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm just curious, and taking notes, and I'm looking, and seeing what's about to happen. And what I want you guys to see here is, Anybody that's in the front, can you guys validate that this pad is a lot smaller than the other one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want you to, I want that was very key for you to notice this. He pulled out this particular pad right here. Right? And then I'm unraveling it so you guys can see this. And then he put this pad side by side. And what he did was, he did the exact same thing. He put the 50 milliliters in this one as well. And if you're going to pour it, just making sure I don't pour it all over the tables. <clears throat> Make sure it's all in there. But here's what I want to say as we're really preparing to wrap up on what you're about to see. Do you guys know that a lot of women have been dying of breast cancer, ovarian cancer? miscarriages, um, fibroids, vaginal infections, you name it. And do you guys know that most of that has been coming from the actual pads that they've been wearing? Because of how they're made and the design and the, and the chemicals that's involved in it? And I'm going to show you this in a second. When I saw that part, i got to be honest with you guys, I did not see a business opportunity when I first saw this. I saw my wife and my kids. And my heart went out to women because I say to myself, look what these ladies have been suffering through, and some people have died unnecessarily <coughs> because of the chemicals that's been given into their bloodstream that's been causing a lot of the problems and challenges. But here's what I want you all to see. What the gentleman then did was, he took a napkin, right? And he took the napkin, and he put his hand to press down on the actual pad, and I don't have to tell you guys, what you guys expected to happen, right? That it was going to be wet. Because we just poured 50 milliliters of water in there. Am I correct? Right. That just makes sense, right. right? And then what he did was, he took the same napkin, and I don't want nobody to think I'm cheating or see that I'm cheating, and what he did was, he did it again, and he was pressing, pressing, and pressing, and pressing, and pushing on this pad, and it was nothing. It was dry. It was totally, completely dry. That's when I jumped out of my seat. And I said, hold on. we got a game change here. Stop. I see the vision. I see exactly where you guys are going now. And let me show you why it's important. Which one of these you guys would say have the least amount of water in it? The one in my right hand? Would you agree? I want to sit this right here because this is a very, very, very important as we're wrapping up. First thing I want to do is I want to show you the, the design of these particular pads, guys. I don't know if you ever paid attention. Men, I know we, we've never had to pay attention because we don't utilize them. But if you just actually feel the exterior of this particular pad, you can feel it too, brother. <laughs> it's made out of, no, serious. It's made out of some synthetic plastic, mm -hmm. yeah. which actually rubs against the woman, causing irritations, causing different things because of what it's designed and what it's made out of. If you guys look at the little blue dye here that's supposed to be the quote-unquote absorbency system, that's actual dye. So guess what happens with the dye when it gets wet? It bleeds through. And guess where it goes, ladies? But then, hold on. We're still not done. What's supposed to be the absorbency system here? This is wood fibers. 
This is old newspapers that was bleached. This was trash that they took, right? And when they bleach it, what's going on, Ricky? It's giving off a poisonous chemical called dioxin. Oh, shoot. Dioxin is ten times worse than cyanide. Mm. It's poisonous. So now, ladies, all of this is getting not only in your body, but in your bloodstream. And causing a lot of sickness and things that's happening with our women unnecessarily. But let me show you something, guys. This is important for you to see. I'm going to take what's supposed to be so absorbent, and you guys say the cup to the right has the least amount of water, correct? Yes. I'm going to put this over here, because I want to make sure we're all on the same page. You guys got to see this as well. The exterior of the design of these pads, it's plastic, okay, with no ventilation and no breathability. Here's what I want you to think about. Your body is 98.5 degrees, correct? Okay? You have blood. You have blood clots. You have moisture, right? You have some situations urine that is leaked out or whatever. You have all of this closed in. That's a perfect breathing ground for what? Bacteria. Bacteria. And it's truly, truly causing a problem. And fellas, you may say, well, this don't affect me. Yes, it do. Because then it causes us to wait longer after waiting a week. <laughs> so it affects us too. Definitely. So for that alone, for that alone, this is a... That's something you got to check. Well, watch this, guys. I want you all to see this. We're still not done. But then, Ricky, what he began to do, brother, Ed, he tore this bad apart. Now what I want you to see is, I want you to feel the exterior of that. So... Cotton, right? Okay, that's right here. But here's what you guys have to see. Here's the magic in all of this. This little green strip, this is almost like the microchip in a computer. This is an all-natural algae strip. Let me tell you what's going on with this strip, ladies. It has what's called negative ions in it. For you guys that don't know what negative ions are, I want you to do your own independent research. Don't take my word for it. When you research negative ions, if you've ever been to a waterfall, if you've ever been to the beach before a thunderstorm, that's where negative ions exist. It's known to naturally eat away at bacteria, okay? But it's also designed to put the body in a relaxing state. Nobody's stressed out at the beach. You know? yeah. Nobody. You're relaxing. You're taking it easy because of the negative ions. But here's what I want you to understand. Negative ions, guys, in terms of being in this pad, has really been... Nothing short of miraculous. I have three daughters, okay, that's obviously in this period of their lives where this is a, necess a necessity for them. And my, my baby girl, she's 17 years old, she's the captain of the cheerleaders. I told her, you know, she, she told me, she says, Dad, I, I need to try one of these pads. So she was letting me know, obviously, it was that time. And here's what I said to her I said, Listen, sweetheart, I really need you to do me a favor. I said, Be brutally honest with Daddy because I'm about to put my name and my influence on this, you know we've been out of the industry for almost a year now. I says, if I'm going all in, I have to know this is real. I will never be able to experience this. I need it from you. So guess what, guys? My daughter used a pad. She came back the next day, and here's what she said to me. She said, first of all, Dad, let me say this to you. She says, I didn't have any smell. Symbol one, the negative ions takes away the bacteria and the odor as well, ladies. No smell. She says, then I want you to know, Dad, my menstrual cramps wasn't there at all. It's open with the menstrual cramps. Hold on. Then she says, Dad, I forgot I was wearing it. Because of the absorbency <laughs> factor, because the way this pad is designed, anytime any type of moisture hits it, guess what happens? It sucks into the bottom of the pad and it locks into the absorbency system that's built inside of it. That's why there was nothing you could see on the top. Because anytime any wet moisture, anything touches it, it goes down below. But now we're getting testimonies from women that are saying, Damon, my cycle has been shortened. Where usually on my fourth, fifth day, I'm still flowing a little, I'm just getting little spots now. Just little spots. We had one business partner, and the ladies, I got to share this. I know some of the ladies in here, I may gross you out, what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. This young lady, very influential. Some of you all in here, you may even know who she is, her, her name. Uh, she's an icon in the industry. And myself and Mr. Coleman had the privilege of being able to 
get with her. She saw this demonstration. She says, I wanted to test the limits of what this thing could do. She says, I wore one of these pads for 24 straight hours. 24. She said, I know women are accustomed to changing four to six times a day. It's habitual. She said, but I wanted to see how far this could go. She said, after 24 hours, no smell, no pain, no anything. This is her testimony. And she is on fire because of now she's seeing how the product works. But as we're wrapping up, I need you guys to see this. This is important here. I'm going to actually unravel our absorbency system here because I put their stuff in a cup. I owe it to you to put ours in too, to be fair, right? I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drop it in the one that everybody in the room agreed had the most amount of water, right? But I want you all to see this. If you look at the exterior of what our pads are designed out of, you can see holes through it. Everything is designed to be ventilated, right? And allow air to penetrate. But I want you to see this as well. Do you see the exterior of this pad? Do you see the little strips that almost look like a racetrack? If I was to put steam on one side of the pad, steam would come out the other side of the pad. Because it's designed for ventilation, for air, to get to that particular area. And I want you to understand something. Plastic doesn't tear like this, guys. This is biodegradable, what we have our hands on. But here's what I want to say. How long would you say that this was sitting inside the water here inside in, in, five, five, minutes. Five, minutes. five some people say ten five, five. so we go with five let's go with the Lord's mouth and is, is there still a lot of water in here guys yeah. I mean everybody yeah. five minutes, how long would you say this was sitting here five. about a minute and we can't get a drop of water out of here. Wow. you can't get a drop <laughs> no listen 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 guys you cannot get a drop but not only that no listen no 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 listen I can continue to pour I can continue to pour, and I can sit it right here in front of us, and all it's going to do is it's going to absorb. It's going to continue to absorb. Well, let me, let me, let me tell you where we're really going as we're wrapping up, because we're done. Let me share something with you. I just didn't get excited, guys. I did not just get excited about the opportunity. I got excited about the awareness campaign. <coughs> Ms. Joyce, we're starting an awareness campaign called Now We Know. Mm. Our women know now. They're no longer ignorant to what's on these shelves and what's potentially killing them. Mm. Wow. They're no longer ignorant now to the diseases and things that's causing problems in their lives. Women dealing with miscarriage after miscarriage and they're wondering why because their bloodstream is being poisoned with dioxin. Now we know we're going to have 5K runs, guys. We're going to have basketball tournaments bringing awareness, aware, awareness for our women. And some people are saying, well, demand. You're a man. You'll never use this. But they got women in my life that I love. That's why I'm so passionate. And when I saw this, it became bigger than the money. But now on the other side, I've never saw a more residual product in the industry outside of oxygen and air. This is, you can't fight this one. Every month is coming. So guess what? You want what's best. I say this as we, as, as we close, guys, before I bring my partner up to close this out. I want to say this. The company is launching on March the 4th. That is going to be the start date where product is going to be shipped. Individuals are able to, to, to rock and roll. Commissions will run everything. But January 15th, this is a very important date, you are going to be able to enroll into this opportunity for free. There will be no choice, but people can get involved, get their positions, the whole nine yards, and from January 15th all the way up to March 4th, people are, are going to be able to structure, organize, do everything with their organizations. On the actual uh, 4th of March, that's when everything will go live. I want to say this to you all. Some women have been asking the question, what about tampons? Well, here's what I want to say to you all, because I already know what you're thinking, ladies. We have been talking to several doctors. Doctors are not in favor of tampons. You know why? Because we're getting the word that really tampons are unnatural. Tampons are acting as a plug for something that's supposed to release and come out. That's what's causing a lot of tumors, fibroids. Because you got the blood sitting there backed up clotting inside your body. But hold on guys, I want you to understand something. A lot of women have been dying from TSS. Toxic shock syndrome. 
We, we discovered from a doctor that they are putting ingredients and chemicals in tampons that make you bleed more. Intentionally. So you can continue to do what? Look at the games they play. Look, that's my point. And that's where that sister said it right. That's what I saw. Miss, hold on, man. This is my wife and kids' life. This is bigger than the opposite. It's not a game. And for men, if there's any woman in your life that you love, and we want to make something clear tonight. We want to be very crystal clear. We don't care if you get involved. Because guess what the company's vision is, Bobby? You ready for this? One million customers in our first 12 to 18 months. Because let me say something, all the networkers in here. You can fight it as long as you want. The only thing that can sustain momentum is customers, external users. Because when the recruiting dies and all of this goes, so does your income. You better have somebody outside of your distributor base that's purchasing these products for real and not playing with it. And everywhere we've been going, it's been a 100% buy-in. My partner and I, we was in New York last night. We did three meetings. Packed out, back-to-back. -back. That's why we didn't get here to 5 a.m. this morning. Coming from New York. So what I want to do in closing is I have to bring this giant up, guys. This guy right here, I have to be honest with you. For a long time in this industry, a long time, Ricky, I didn't see anybody that can run like me. I'm sorry, Miss Joy. I run hard. I run fast. My wife knows there's times that I will leave the house and she like, I don't know when he coming back. Because then when this comes to my family, I don't take any prisoners. Man, this guy is a flat out monster, man. When he's out, he's meeting, he's talking to people. When we're in the car, he's on the phone talking to somebody. He's connected on Facebook. He's meeting. He's meeting. When we came up here uh, of our run from Atlanta, we stopped in uh, Charlotte, Carolina, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. We did a meeting for 1 p.m. We went to Raleigh, North Carolina. We did another meeting for 6. We went to Richmond, Virginia. We did a meeting at midnight. After Richmond, Virginia, we went to Washington, D.C. at 2 a.m. in the morning and met with prospects before we got to Baltimore. And this guy was all in and all for it. This guy's an industry legend, man. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever been able to run across. So honored to be part. Made millions. It's already documented. You can look him up, research him, do your own independent research. This guy right now, he's on pace to become the company's first legend distributor. That's going to be the top rank, which is more over $3 million per month in revenue. The deck is already stacked, guys. Everywhere we've been going around the country, 100% by you. People are literally waiting right now to get involved. And right now, guys, a legend distributor will be able to earn up to $88,000 per week. Mm. No, no, not month. You heard it right, per week. Woo! 